We are at the property at 1749 South Walnut in Pearsall. This is the exterior of the home. I do suggest the lawn obviously be cleaned up, all trash inside and outside of the house being removed, leaves raked up, uh, things like that, just to make it look nicer. Uh, my suggestion is to do a full exterior paint. Um, the colors on the house are not attractive. It's not a requirement, but it is a suggestion. Um, for the most part, the roof looks pretty good in the front. There is an area that's got some gaps there. Those satellite dishes are going to need to be removed. The soffit, uh, the fascia, which is the front, looks pretty good. I don't see any major rotting or anything there. Um, but the soffit, these two pieces here, this one, and the next one should probably be replaced. They've got lots of watermarks and uh, wear and tear. <clears throat> but for the most part, the exterior looks pretty good. Obviously trash, again, just mentioning the trash, the yard's gonna need to be mowed and all of this trash and material is gonna need to be removed. All of it. Okay, pretty big backyard. <clears throat> the again the exterior we should probably paint it a uh, more attractive color right now it's a yellow and like a olive green almost the doors are going to need to be white and have touch-ups done to them okay let's go check it out to the inside Inside, the first thing I'm going to mention, um, pay attention to the flooring throughout the home. The flooring is in really good condition. Um, and everywhere except for the master be uh, bathroom, there is a small rip in the flooring. I think it can be fixed rather than replaced. Um, it does need a full interior paint. If you look at the paint, um, every area is a little bit different. Um, it was not professionally painted by the people that were living in the home. Um, so definitely going to need full interior paint of the walls, the ceilings, the plug and switch covers. You'll know, you'll notice that I put it in the scope of work for them to all be replaced. It's one of the cheap things that you can do to give the house a fresher look. And in this case, they've been painted over, they're discolored, they're dirty, they're yucky. Um, so yeah, my suggestion is to have those replaced. You'll notice that in pretty much 90% of the house, there are no baseboards. So this is an area that has baseboards, that white trim. So the living room has baseboards, but pretty much everywhere else, everywhere else in the home does not. So those are all gonna need to be replaced. Let's go to the kitchen and that's the back door. Kitchen, again, it needs to be painted. We need baseboards because we don't have baseboards in here either. The flooring in here is okay. The top cabinets are okay. But my suggestion is to replace the bottom cabinets. The reason why is because we've got broken doors or doors that don't match, like this door doesn't match the rest of the doors. Um, you've got rotting in the bottom of the cabinets and signs of leaking. So that's usually not a good indicator. They've put foil in the bottom here, which means that they were trying to stop further water damage. So the PVC piping underneath the cabinets may need to be replaced new sink probably and then we've got broken cabinet doors over here um, so again my suggestion is not a requirement but my suggestion is to replace the bottom cabinets and the countertop and sink kit and leave the top ones just clean them up and paint them nicely that's a new one that they installed it's still got the tag on it um, your refrigerator would probably go here there's where your stove would go you do need a new light fixture here. I think there's four or five light fixtures throughout the house that need to be replaced. This is the washer and dryer room. Um, it needs to be properly framed out. It's not currently properly framed out, framed out excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Again, we're missing more uh, baseboards. This door is a brand new door. It's not even painted yet, so it just needs to be painted. Again, we're missing baseboards in this room as well. The closet is framed out nicely. There aren't closet doors, but it's framed out nicely. That hole needs to be patched. That needs to have a proper closure. That's not the way to properly close that off. You can actually see up into the attic. 
There's a nice shelf work that they've done here. This is the bathroom. It's hard to see in the bathroom, but there's not a vanity, which means there's no sink, no cabinet, there's no mirror. The shower needs to be properly framed out and resurfaced. This is another bedroom that's going to need a door. By the way, the bathroom door should probably be replaced because it doesn't match any of the other doors in the house. But going back into this bedroom, it's kind of a nice um, wood paneling wall. They do that here in country areas like this one, so that's a pretty neat feature of the house. So I would say we should leave that but do proper painting of the walls because the walls were not properly painted. Uh, again, we have another closet that's not properly framed out. A window that is not properly framed out. That's a new window. It's got tags on it. Again, more uh, baseboards that need to be added. Plug and switch covers that need to be replaced or added. Got another one missing there. The carpet is fairly clean. Um, it's got a couple of spots on it, but it looks like fairly new carpet. Let's go into the master bedroom. Again, we need baseboards in here. We've got a tub that needs to be installed. Closets. These look good, but they need um, rods and a shelf so that people can actually use the closet to hang things in. This is the master bathroom. It's got a new vanity in it. There's not a mirror. We should probably switch out that vanity light because it's outdated. The finish doesn't match anything else in the house. Um, They've got the toilet area framed out to separate it from the rest of the bathroom, which is a really nice feature, but it, there needs to be sheetrock here. So we need all this area to be sheetrocked out properly. This is where I'm assuming they were going to put that new tub. Um, this is the rip I was talking about in the vinyl flooring in the bathroom. It can probably be fixed. If not, it's super cheap to replace this flooring. You just need a small strip of it. But yeah, you need a new tub put in. There's more sheetrock missing on the walls, another light fixture that needs to be replaced. It already has the plumbing. It's really dark in here, I'm sorry. There's already um, areas to put plumbing for this bathtub and shower combo, but it needs to be put in and installed properly with all the proper plumbing. I'm not sure if that tub fits. They'll have to check and see. Okay, but that's the master bedroom and bathroom there. That door also doesn't match, but you can have it replaced if you want. And this is the property at 1749 South Walnut.